YouTubers and RV fans. Um, today is an exciting day because Mert is back in the driveway at my house. And um, it feels very good to have um, the brake repairs behind me now. Now I've got some additional work to do, but it's something I can do as I have, um, as I save more money for you know, anything additional. But I want to give a plug to American RV Technologies. Um, this is a um, RV repair shop here in um, in Florida, just south of Venice, Florida, in Northport, Florida, and it's run by Fred and Petra. Um, they are two amazing people, um, and I have to tell you, I wish I had found them eight months ago. Um, they also do Cruise America rentals, and um, they have a, a very qualified staff of people. Um, you know, Mike and Chris, which were the mechanics that worked on uh, on Myrtle, as well as um, wonderful folks in the office, Hillary and some other folks that I can't remember their names. But if you're looking for uh, RV repair, um, give them a call. I, I don't think you'll be sad that you did. Um, for me, it's all about trust. And uh, gosh knows, I've been uh, in, involved with uh, RV repair now for the last seven to eight months. So yeah, it's all about trust. <laughs> Fred and Petra, uh, instill that trust in you because they call you back when they say they're going to call you. They give you estimates of what the work is going to be. Uh, they're very honest with you. They're very forthright. Um, and they do an excellent job. So uh, if you're in Florida on the West Coast from Tampa down to Naples and you need some work done in your RV, uh, I'll give you the phone number and the address. Definitely look them up. And uh, when you go in, tell them, say, the paddy wagon sent me. And I'm sure they'll be very pleased about that. So Fred and Petra, thank you so much for everything that you did for me. Want to let you guys know that I got uh, Merck back home last night. And it was the first time that I drove her in the dark. Um, and you know, I did a lot of work on replacing the running lights and uh, making sure that all the exterior lighting uh, on the rig worked well. Pretty cool. It, it's nice to, nice to see that um, Myrtle looks really good at night. So today, Alex and I took her out again, um, dr driving through heavy traffic, uh, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, and the brakes were beautiful. It's very nice to have brakes that stop this, you know, 15,000 pound uh, vehicle. Kind of instills a sense of confidence in you when you can stop the vehicle. Uh, so I've got a little bit of video for you so you can see what we were doing and maybe a little conversations that Alex and I were having, um, and I'll speed some of it up so it's not too boring. But. Um, in the middle of my um, of my drive back home from dumping the tanks, Chico called me. Uh, and for those that you f that follow Chico on Rufus and Doofus, uh, he gave me an update and told me he was doing really good, and that he'll be discharging home pretty soon. So that's a wonderful thing. I'm so happy for him, um, and hopefully soon uh, he'll be back uh, producing videos on his channel, and it'll be great to see. And you could probably make this turn, pal. Yep. All right, people, we're all done dumping the tanks. We're headed back to the house. Gonna set Merck back up so that, uh, well, I'm headed back to the house. I don't know if I'm gonna boondock tonight in Fort Myers or not. I'm thinking about it, but at this stage of the game, I do knew yet. But hopefully I'll know soon.
Hey, buddy, what are you doing? I'm driving the rig, man. We're out and about. How are you? Okay, YouTubers, so we dumped the tanks. We took it for a nice drive. Um, looks like we went about 24 miles. So, not too bad. Not too bad, I don't think. So, I think for this run, I think we're in good shape. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs>